Hi, I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish with Skin Packable Dermatology and Cosmetic Laser Center here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to cure sweating on the hands and feet. Sweaty hands and sweaty feet are a very difficult problem for those people who have them. Most of us have shaken the hands of somebody who has sweaty palms and it's very uncomfortable for us to shake that person's palms, but it's even more uncomfortable for that person to know that his palms or her palms are very sweaty. Uh, sweaty soles uh, of the feet are equivalently uncomfortable for those people who suffer from it. Um, so, you know, treatment options uh, to correct that uh, have been developed and do a pretty good job of uh, helping those people to reduce the amount of sweating on the hands and on the feet. So firstly, there's topical options. Uh, the main ones being uh, dry saw, which is uh, aluminum chloride uh, preparations and some others but really not very practical for um, hands and feet. You wash your hands many times through the day and uh, it just it really doesn't uh, work that well for hands and feet. Better reserved for somewhere like the underarms. Those treatments are usually used uh, once, once a day at nighttime, uh, but still they really don't work that well in the areas of the hands and feet. Uh, second option is Botox. Uh, most commonly you know Botox for treating wrinkles, but actually it's probably the best treatment for uh, hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating on the body. So generally uh, we'll use Botox and put multiple injections through the area that is, uh, that is sweating and generally we demarcate the area that is prone to sweating by the use of an iodine uh, starch test provided by the makers of Botox. You sprinkle a powder uh, before putting the uh, Botox in and it kind of demarcates the area that is sweating by turning a little purple. So you wipe that off and then you'll do the injections. Generally you do the injections once every one to one and a half centimeters apart. Uh, generally we use around 50 units but sometimes a little more than that per palm. It is a very painful uh, procedure so generally putting some numbing cream on ahead of time is a very good idea and if you're pain sensitive using a uh, oral uh, pain medicine like Vicodin is very good because I've been in this room uh, many times when patients are very uncomfortable and uh, you know I, I don't want to inflict that kind of pain so uh, pain control is very important but once you get the Botox in it works fabulous it, it goes bone dry it's like the desert in some cases and it really is very satisfying from a physician's point of view to be able to give someone uh, you know, dry hands who's, who's been suffering with this problem for, for many, many years. If patients fail Botox and the topical preparations, there's two other options. Uh, one being pills, uh, some anticholinergic pills that work, but they're very poorly tolerated. There's some side effects uh, that make that not a very good option. And lastly, there's a surgical option in, in which uh, a surgeon goes and cuts uh, the nerves responsible for sweating. Now. Uh, the surgical option also comes with side effects because a lot of times when you cut uh, the nerves responsible for sweating in the hands, for instance, you'll develop sweating elsewhere. And so it's, um, it's not 100% it's not and many, many patients do have other issues that arise as a result of cutting those nerves, but um, as a last option, it's available. I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish and that's a brief overview of how to treat sweating on the hands and feet. Thank you.